Hi, I am Miss Mildred, and this is Gen Math Chronicles. In this class, we are going to study a series of lessons in general mathematics. Are you ready, guys? Then let's get started. For today, we are going to learn about functions and how to evaluate it. And the best way to illustrate functions is through the use of machines. So we have this machine, and we put something in it. The machine will process our input according to its rule to produce an output that we need. If we know how the machine works, and we have our input, then we can easily predict the output. Conversely, if we have our output, and we know how the machine works, then we can easily determine an input. And if we examine the inputs and the outputs, we can easily determine that rule, which is actually known as the functions. Let's examine this machine and try to figure out its function. Say we input 20 and the machine gave us 3 as the output, we have 10 as another input, and the machine gave us 1 as the output. And we have 5 as our last input, leading to 0 as the output. What do you think is the machine's rule? If your answer is divide by 5 then subtract by 1, then you are correct. Let's write that into an equation. We let the input be the variable x and the output be f of x. So the rule or the function of this machine is represented by f of x is equal to x over 5 minus 1. Let's move on to evaluating functions. Here, we simply predict the output by applying the rule to our input. In other words, we simply substitute the value of x to our equation, then compute for the function. Let's take a look on this situation. Say f of x is your total savings and x is the number of days you save money. Then our function would be f of x is equal to 50x. A year has an average of 365 days. So the value of our x will be 365. To evaluate this function, we can simply substitute the value of x to our equation. So we have f of 365 is equal to 50 times 365, which is equal to 18,250 pesos. You plan to continue saving for another 4 years, which means you will be saving for 5 years. The number of days we have in 5 years is 365 times 5, which is equal to 1,825, plus one leap day, which happens every 4 years. So the value of x will be 1,826. Let's compute how much money you will be able to save after 5 years. So we have f of 1,826 is equal to 50 times 1,826, which is equal to 91,300 pesos. Now, it's time for you to practice what you have learned. Suppose you recently started creating blocks. On your first three days, you have gathered 30 views. Then you realize that for each day, you have an average of 10 views. After 3 weeks of vlogging, what do you think is the estimated number of views you could have? Today's lesson ends, but our learning continues. On our next video, we are going to try putting another function as an input to our original function. Are you still up for the challenge? Well, Miss Mildred will be back for another episode of... Jan Mac Chronicles! <laughs>